Hello and welcome to Vault Life. Today we're going to look at how to create a sub octave for an oscillator that's not the usual square wave. With a little bit of effort we can create a sawtooth and with a bit more we could even create a triangle. A triangle of course being better for those deep sub octave bass lines. The building blocks are a standard sawtooth or ramp wave and a square wave one octave lower. Some VCOs have a built in sub octave square wave but you can also create this by using the VCO's normal ramp or square to trigger a clock divider. The trick is in noticing that if you add the right amount of voltage to every second cycle of your saw, you'll get another saw with twice the amplitude and half the frequency. I'm showing a ramp wave here, but if the voltage generated by your VCO or clock divider has a different polarity, you'll just need to invert one of the waves first. In this example I'll use a Mother 32, which is a very simple oscillator with just saw and pulse waves. What I do is take the sawtooth out and molt it. One goes straight to a VC mix in, and the other goes into the trigger input of a Derpfer clock divider. Then you just take the divide by two output and patch it into the other VC mix input. Here's the VCO sawtooth out, which is mixed with the clock divider output, a square one octave down. If you carefully adjust the mix between them, you'll find a point where the two saws match up. There may still be a little glitch at the boundary, but I've noticed that the sawtooth sub on the AFG also has this, so it's hard to eliminate. Anyway, it'll be lost in the rich sawtooth harmonics. Now you can go ahead and mix this with the other VCO outputs, in this case PWM, to create a big, thick monosynth sound. Or you could make a separate voice out of it with its own rhythm for a more complex patch. Or, you could use a VCA and the original sawtooth to create an Alpha Juno style PWM saw, as demonstrated in my previous video about the Hoover. Often though, you'll want a sub octave with very few harmonics, to really emphasise the bass. One way to do this is to convert your sawtooth sub into a triangle. A full wave rectifier, such as Mutable Instruments Kinks or Mannequins Cold Mac will do this, but you can do it another way. If you compare a sawtooth to its inverted copy, you'll notice that when you follow whichever voltage is higher, you'll get a triangle wave. In modular sense, this is known as taking the maximum, or sometimes an analog or function, for complicated mathematical reasons. And it sounds obscure, but you'll probably have a module that can do it. First of all, since the saw we produced earlier will probably have a DC offset, we run it through an attenuator and offset to get into the right voltage range. Then we take two copies, and in this example, patch them into channels 2 and 3 of maths. Other companies such as Dirtfer and Erica make Max Min or Analog Logic modules, but the nice thing about maths is that it can also invert one of the sawtooths for you. Then you take the maximum voltage out of the OR output. Your first result probably won't be quite right you need to adjust the DC offset until the two halves match. This will give you something very close to a triangle. Unfortunately, because the vertical part of your original sawtooth is unlikely to be perfectly vertical, you'll end up with a glitchy spike in the middle. This will be more noticeable than the saw glitch. To remove it, run it through a filter, the steeper the better. Now you'll have something very close to a triangle wave, which you can mix in with your original VCO output to add a nice deep sub to your voicing. Or you could go the other way and emphasise the glitch using resonance. Adjusting cutoff and resonance amount can give you nice format effects. Now you have the freedom to break out beyond the normal square wave sub, so experiment with the timbral possibilities. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this useful.